Emperor Yao, a legendary figure in ancient Chinese history, stands as a paragon of wisdom, virtue, and benevolent leadership. Known as one of the legendary three sovereign and five emperors, Yao's legacy spans millennia, echoed through the long history of Chinese culture and governance. His reign, steeped in tales of sagacity and moral governance, serves as a beacon of guidance and inspiration for leaders and seekers of wisdom alike. As the embodiment of ancient China's golden age, Emperor Yao's story resonates as a testament to the enduring power of virtuous leadership and the profound impact of the righteousness on the fabric of society. The history aside, can this cigar live up to my expectation of what Emperor Yao represents in Chinese history? This is El Satimo, Emperor Yao Cigar Review. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Sass Sass, and welcome to another cigar review. I hope you enjoyed that little opening here. Now that I know I'm gonna record one, I haven't recorded one yet, so it has to be after this. But we'll find out. Anyways, so um, this one is called the Emperor Yao. Uh, it's from the Emperor Collection. I believe this is a Maduro. A big, big, big cigar. This is huge. This is huge. Anyway, so. According to the information that I have here, I went to some website. I'm trying to find more information on this. Some of them says it's anti close. So don't have any information on that. Some of them says the wrapper is Maduro. The binder and the filler is a Dominican. And this obviously is a torpedo size. Now, the size is six and a half by 60. And this is from Eric. Smoke one if you have one. So he likes to send me giant ass cigars. So I'll choke myself to death. But thank you. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna get a little smoke on this thing and see if it meets the expectation of Emperor Yao. Now, let me just put a little bit of information out there in case I really didn't make that opening that I thought I might make. Emperor Yao is one of the the famous um, five kings okay and he has he's very early on stage of the chinese history ancient chinese history and what happened is that he's known to be a very uh, benev uh benevolent emperor he feels like if the people are suffering it's because of his fault he he he's a famous person who uh who invented how to drain like river water and stuff because there was a huge flood so yeah he was known at that but he had a horrible death and his son's horrible death so you know we can only remember them as someone that has fixed the flood and someone that has invented laws to be to punish those people who scams who you know that kind of stuff and and yeah he's known as a great emperor but with a horrible death <laughs> Leathery, very leathery cigar. Uh, I can cut a big chunk off because this thing has a huge cap. Yep, leathery, <laughs> very leathery. I don't even taste the wood because it's so leathery. And here we go. The band for the foot. Emperor collection. It's kind of cool. I, uh, and this is from Geneva, but even though this cigar is Costa Rica, Costa Rica, it says age for five years. I highly doubt that, but that's just what they say. So we will go with that. Um, I'm trying to figure out. See that whenever people put these tiny, like tiny little emblem seal thing, I can't really see it. You know, they put it so tiny. You got to put an emblem, put a giant ass one so I can see what it is, you know. But here we go. Light and smoke. That which means I should turn on my fan before uh, this place be crowded with smoke. Mm. 
fan. There we go. Fan. Fan. There we go. All right. Let's light it up. Now, when you have a cigar this big of a gauge, don't try to use soft light. That will take forever. I don't have that time. Go at it. I know you want that virgin flavor. No, no, no. It's one pop. Get over it. One pop. Or maybe two. But get over it. You need to smoke a cigar. Every moment matters. Now, you can wait. Blow that smoke out, whatever that flavor is. And pretend that's your first puff. No, I, I need to light it some more. Ooh, that's, my lighter is hot now. Woodsy. Leathery, like leathery. Ever got beat up by your parent? You know, they use the leather and just the bell just go at it. This tastes like that bell just hit my face. It's kind of spicy. It's kind of leathery. And it's kind of like there is some, some sort of a cologne. <laughs> yeah, you can smell your daddy's cologne on that leather belt. Psh, 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 ah. Yeah. There's that cologne taste to it. Yeah, I'm not kidding. That really tastes like cologne. It's like a f very floral sandalwood cedarwood combination it tastes like cologne and leather all right that's not a good start let me smoke one third i'll be right back i will have to call this one third because like the ashes keep like eh. so there we go so it kind of have like I said, that cologne taste. And then slowly working into like a sweeter, cedar, mineral kind of taste with a little bit of leather. It's a really weird cigar. Like if you ask me and I was a if I was a beginner, I would think this is flavored because it's kind of sweet. It's kind of sweet. It, it, it might have a little bit of like cherry chocolate kind of taste a little bit too. It starts to have that kind of it's walking towards that direction. But this cigar is so tightly packed. Uh, it's like that's my nail mark. I literally had to punch it a little bit so that I can smoke it. Smoke output is okay, but the draw is not very open. It's not like you have no draw. This this draw, but like you feel like it's a thick draw. It's like almost like s s molasses draw. You know, it, it's it's a it's a heavy cigar. I and mean, when I say heavy, I mean like heavy taste. So I would say this is like one of those examples: full body but medium strength kind of cigar. Um, I'm hoping this work towards a nice direction because I feel like the cigar is really thick. I had a big meal, so just so that in case I get sick. But I don't think this cigar is gonna get me sick. It's gonna get me tired, like my mouth. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Well, yeah, it's getting sweeter. I don't know. We'll go through with it. Second, there. Be right back. You know, I feel like. All the El Cetimo cigar kind of tastes the same. <laughs> it's like I tried to get there, but I never got there. You know what I'm saying? 
Like you go to a bounce up a party, you go to a party, and like you're driving your way there, and then like the first, oh yeah, we change the place. You know, okay, now I turn around, like you know, to drive another half an hour, and you're almost there. Your friends, are, now we change the place, and then you're like, okay, which way are we got going? And change another place. You drive all the way there, and then uh, you know what? We uh, just decided to go home. It feels like that. This cigar is like, it's got all those flavor, but half ass, and it never gets there. And it really tastes like a sweeter cologne of some sort. You know, it's got a little bit of mineral. It's got chocolate. I can taste that chocolate really strong. But it's... I don't know why it kind of tastes kind of a little bit artificial. It's probably most likely because the that under tension notes of cologne like i said it tastes like cologne right so if you think of that cologne taste and put chocolate on it it tastes kind of artificial and because that tastes kind of artificial makes you taste like you're, you're smoking a flavored cigar it, it feels that way so i i don't know how else i can like this this is like what 25 dollars cigar this is 25 dollars cigar and i feel like other than the smoking time why would you charge $25 for this? This thing is like... For the size... Ooh, what is that? Like a little bit of earthiness too, just now. Um, for the size, probably 15. Probably 15. It doesn't taste very good. Unless, if you like those like Drew Estate flavor, or like, you know, sweet kind of artificial flavors I got, but you don't want to go artificial, this is it for you this is it but i don't see how this represents emperor yao it's not nice at all it looks fake are you calling emperor yao fake i don't know last third and i don't have good hope in it i think the only thing that is gotta be representing emperor yao is the horrible finish <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna die horribly, you know. That's what it feels like. But uh, why we at it? Might as well. Here's the band. I do like the color. I do like the way they did this. But you know, does it taste like five years? No. Does it taste like a cigar? No. Um, cool band. I give it to you. It's big, big band. I like big bands. But under delivered. Under delivered. All right, so last third, let's finish it up and we wrap this up. All right, I think I'm done. This cigar is a suffering to su smoke through. But even though the last third kind of got better, you get a little bit more of like a chocolatey sweetness to it with the cedar. It's good, but it takes so long to smoke. Like I feel like I'm being tortured. Uh, the draw is not perfect, you know, it, it, it's just it's thick. I feel like every draw is so thick. Smoking through molasses or something. But I can see some people like it. But you really have to give yourself a lot of time to smoke it. It would have been more perfect if this was a Robusto or something thinner. Like this thing just takes forever to smoke. Like I literally smoke two and a half hour almost for it that's i don't i don't think the first first third and second third warranted that long of a smoke just to get here and definitely does not recommend represent emperor yao because the emperor yao will be like oh i'm so sorry you're suffering through this cigar it's my fault let me give you a refund that's what emperor yao will have been but no, I, I feel like um, the majority of this uh, El Settimo cigar uh, kind of have that cologne taste, majority of them. And it's not something I like because it makes everything else taste artificial. I, I don't really like it. You know, if you want to spend $25 on this, go right ahead. But this cigar, probably at most I will pay for it, will be $11.50. $11.50. Even though I want to give it more for the size. But then again, I said, like, why am I paying more for the size? Because I don't like the size. So, 11.50, that's where it is. Yeah, it's too bad. I thought I had a hope. I had some hope. It's an emperor collection, you know? 
Not even an emperor want to smoke this, really. And it makes my throat itch. I don't know why. It's not, it's so thick. It's just so hard to smoke. Maybe it's just this cigar, who knows? Yeah, it's just this cigar. So, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't like the cigar. It is what it is. That will be it for the cigar review. I hope you like it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you're in the chat, you know, I already talked to you in the chat, but make sure to comment and like the, the, the video. Share this channel. Let's grow this channel. And uh, so that we can make more of these kind of production reviews, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how, many, how I'm going to make my production, my, my, my review any better. It's just the way it is. I just tell you whatever it is. So it is what it is. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.